Hello, I'm Grim Grindle, and welcome back to what is almost certainly the least frequently updated series on Channel Grim and Grin, known as Game Challenge. But Grim, what exactly is Game Challenge, you might ask? Well, I don't blame you for not knowing, as after all, the last installment of the series was over two years ago, back in February 2016, and aside from one other video coming out a year prior, that's pretty much all we've seen from the Game Challenge series. So, for anyone who's not one of the 50 people that saw either of those two videos, I mean, obviously we've decided to bring back the series because it did so very well in the viewership-wise, but if you didn't see either of those two videos, what a Game Challenge is, is basically just playing a game in a way that makes it purposefully more difficult, despite it not really giving you any incentive to do so. It's not the kind of thing that's going to unlock you any gamer points or achievement points, or even be widely recognised by the public as any sort of achievement, it's just for fun. Can you imagine? And you might well say, hang on Grim, doesn't that mean that technically your video Extreme Parkour Bear, and also the entirety of the Witch v Witch challenge, and now that I think of it, all of the Bots and Drones challenge, and even more so the entirety of the Washer Dryer challenge, all definitely fit within that category. And I suppose maybe you're right, we may have a bit of a branding problem here. I guess the main difference is all of those are series within themselves, except for Extreme Parkour Bear, which almost certainly should have probably been called a Game Challenge video. But regardless, now that you know what it is, what are we doing in this one? Well, if you've been watching the screen, or if you read the title or saw the thumbnail, this here Game Challenge is High Wire Bandicoot. The idea is rather simple. Attempt to complete the two Crash Bandicoot levels from the first Crash Bandicoot game from the Insane Trilogy, Road to Nowhere, and The High Road. However, to do so, you must do it entirely while standing on the handrails of the bridges, avoiding the ground as much as possible. I say on the Insane Trilogy, as I'm not actually sure whether it works on the original game, I don't own the game so I've never played it, but I can say for certain it definitely works on the Insane Trilogy version. How I found out you could actually walk on the rail was entirely by accident. I was hit up there by a wild pig, which is a sentence I didn't think I would ever say, but there you go. And then I kind of got obsessed with seeing how far I could get through the level by spending pretty much the entirety of my time off the ground. It's a sort of the floor is lava kind of challenge, where while occasionally you have to go back on the ground because of the gaps in the fences, you can pretty much avoid the entirety of the bridges. And while I realise that I'm not actually the first person to do this, I did briefly YouTube it to see if other people are doing it, but everyone else seems to be talking about it as if it's a glitch or if it's a quick way to get through the level. And on both of those notes, I'm not entirely sure I agree with either of them. I guess if you can't do it in the original game, while not a glitch is something that was added in that kind of changes the game from the original, I still don't think it's a glitch as, well, you can walk on rope in real life if you're talented enough. I'm not, but I've seen people do it at the circus and such. And further in regards to it being an easy way to get through the level, I definitely do not agree with that one either. Now, I may be in the minority party here, but I found getting up on the rope and walking across it far more difficult than just playing the level normally. Now, you might well argue that that just reflects that I'm either too good at doing the level normally or really bad at doing the level wrongly, but either way, that's just the way I found it. And so rather than present it here as a glitch or a easy way to get through the level, I'm presenting it as a game challenge. Though that said, if you do have a crack at it and find that it is far easier than doing the level normally, then feel free to pretend that this video is a tutorial on how to get through the level easily, and give it a like and a positive comment regardless. And while the footage is of course me doing Road to Nowhere, I'll be putting a link to an unlisted video with no commentary of me doing the high road also. I don't really think it needs its own proper full upload, it's basically the same thing, just a little longer. And so there you have it, a game challenge for High Wire Bandicoot. I hope you look forward to the next game challenge video coming out in two years time. And so with all of that said and done, as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, I have been and still am, Grim Grindle.